Hey, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, we're going to talk about if your reports are printing too small. So I recently received a question where somebody was asking, hey, I don't understand, my profit and loss seems to be printing fine, large enough, but when I try to print a payroll summary, it's too small. So what you want to make sure you're doing when you're printing any of your reports, we'll go in the payroll summary, so reports, employees, payroll summary, is when you go to print this, so let's print this for last month. You want to make sure when you go here to print, the key is what do you have set up here? So if you have this check mark to say fit report to one page, what it's going to do is going to make it super, super small. So if you're finding that your reports, any reports are printing way too small in QuickBooks, especially payroll reports, you typically have this little check box checked. The other option you can do is if you want to change the font size that's actually printing on the check, you can go under File, and when you're in printing the check, whichever way you go to print the check, when you go to print it, so let's just say it's a paste up even, you're going to choose your time frame. Say you're already in there, but you want to make it larger. You're, once you click Print, right here under Fonts, you can actually choose under Font to change the size right here. So if you want a bigger size on printing, you can choose to do that. Now, if you're printing it directly on a check stub, you might need to be careful or a paid, like a check stub stub. You need to be careful because it will, you want to make sure it's keeping it inside the lines. But on a paid check stub or a pay stub, you it's on blank paper, so you should be okay. That's another way you can change the font size if you need it. Have an amazing day. Hope you guys enjoyed this tip. And if you are needing help with QuickBooks, feel free to check out Confidence of QuickBooks, my online course that takes you from A to Z. Whether you're a QuickBooks online user or a desktop user, you can the course, I have it split so you can take it for either one. Or if you are frustrated and you can't get something fixed in QuickBooks and you need personalized one-on-one -on -one sessions, I'll put a link up above or down below. And if you enjoyed this tip and you enjoy my YouTube channel and all my tips and tricks, feel free to subscribe up above or down below and I will send them directly to your inbox. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.